Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Davey. This is BSL Hustle League round of 16 group A winner, or sorry, losers match. I do not have the winners match or the finals. So there was some neglig negligence in the round of 16 as far as replays. Uh, I will let you guys know who won the winners match. I, I guess I'll have to just let you guys know in the round of eight, which is unfortunate. There were probably exciting matches to be played uh, moving forward. But anyway, Mr. Cat, upper right in corner is the Peach Protoss. Bottom right in corner, we got Raj starting as the Yellow Protoss. I cannot color swap, unfortunately. So this is going to be two. So on the minimap, they aren't exactly the same. But in close proximity, it can be hard to distinguish. Because Protoss has kind of a, a peachish highlight thing going on overall. And Mr. Cat may be going for some proxy stuff, interestingly enough. So he's got a very early probe. Moving mid-map. So it looks like he's going to do the good old double gateway, 910 gate, mid-map. To try to take on Raj, which I do not blame him for being a... I think uh, he said he was around 1800, and I think Raj is around the... I, I believe he's around 2,200, 2, somewhere in... This is the thing. Like, I remember talking to Jayun once. Being like, yeah, Artosis is around 2400, I think, or whatever, and I just don't pay attention to those numbers, primarily because I don't play on the ladder and I don't care, and they don't, those numbers don't mean a lot to me, aside from just like, hey, this number is higher, which means it's better, right? Um, but uh, I was recognizing, Jayun just kept his mouth shut, but I'm sure he was like, no way. Like, and I can no longer trust Diggity for anything related to commentary. <laughs> because. And I get it on that end. Let's see if Raj gets first scout, or if he scouts mid-map and just finds the double gateway. Is he? Yes. Immediately finds it. Going for a, a sweep. Cross scout. So with this, he's going to have a much easier time responding. We'll know to drop his... He can drop double gateways himself. Or drop a shield battery. That's still going to put him economically ahead. Unfortunately for Mr. Cat, with this sort of build, you are committed. Absolutely committed. I do like it on occasion, the probe being left to sneak things. Uh, insult to injury would be a gas deal right here. That would be the bad manner maneuver as far as a follow-up. But it looks like we do have the shield battery dropping, although the, not near the ramp. So there might be an opening for Mr. Cat, potentially. Uh, we'll see. Ooh, mana pylon on top of it. And that's another thing that can really be abused in the space of this is when you have the... Looks like it wasn't a forge follow-up, but when you have the mana, the mana pylon here and the zealots coming top right, it, it's just a, ma a massive economic disruption. Um, Raj still with the... Yeah, still has the worker lead. Still in a very comfortable position. Still all in. He's got that probe alongside to maybe... But he's got a farther reinforcement point even with the proxy. And Raj can still back up to that shield battery whenever he... Especially once he has the replacement zealots in tow. I think he whiffed on this mana pylon. It just blockades or disrupts that location. You usually want it right there, I believe, to like blockade, hopefully trap a probe in. Um, it's still frustrating. Four zealots versus four out on the forward field. Base damage on one of them. So if Raj decided to full engage, there is that probe as far as an equalizer. And I don't see any, and we also have that that probe nearby. Uh, do we have the probe nearby? Or did it die? It's hard to tell. I don't think that's, okay, this probe got the kill in the base. For a second, and this is just an idle probe for Mr. Cat that he's he's missing. Roger's still maintaining that economic lead. Now is enough of a zealot army where he's going to march out and evict everything that's out here. Pylon will serve as a scout in the main to see if any gas was dropped. We do have the gas and the cybernetics core behind this. Raj chasing a lot of this down. Let's be somewhat careful. He's starting to march down there, force some fights. But now he's outnumbered and he's going to need to turn right back around and get to that shield battery potentially. Two zealots peeling off. Mr. Cat keeping his army cohesive. And this might be it. because So let's see if these two zealots immediately get rallied to the bottom right. Because now with those two zealots that peeled back, Raj can still engage and hold at the nearby position. As soon as the zealots are produced, they should have an advantage there. Especially with the shield battery. Yeah, just regenerating, re-engaging. And these two zealots are going to be able to get to the main. It looks like the next two zealots are not going to 
provide support. So it's just probes up to defend themselves here at the bottom right hand corner. And yeah, that's it for Mr. Cat. Gonna give the well played call right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.